hi everyone uh, in the previous video i have shown you uh, the pre layout simulation of uh, common source amplifier uh, with uh, pmos as uh, active load or current source uh, probably starting from uh, schematic uh, then uh, symbol generating the symbol then performing the test circuit or uh, creating the test circuit then performing pre layout simulations again uh, with respect to that uh, again uh, finding out the gain with respect to v in and v out right uh, we have uh, i have shown you uh, the pre layout simulation of uh, common source amplifier so basically it is called as a voltage amplifier so in this video i'll show you how to do the post layout simulation by creating the layout for the test circuit i'm showing here okay so now uh, in order to generate the layout so what we have to do we have to go to launch in the launch we have to select excel right layout excel so in the layout excel so create new automatic i'll give okay and in the name let it be the same do not change the uh, schematic name so because under the name itself we will going to create the layout right for the cell a uh, cell view schematic i'm going to view the layout right so kindly do not change the name of this while creating the layout okay fine so click okay so uh, this is the this is the layout window so i'll go to layout window right in the layout window fine uh, you have to go to connectivity in the connectivity go to generate so in the generate select all from source okay so when you select all from source so you have to select instances chain fold so i'll tell you as we go on for the next two experiments i'll tell you what it is all these things we have to select a chain fold all these things fine so here i'll select both so pr boundary you can select or you need not to why because the pr boundary is such a one boundary in such uh, it is supposed to be so whatever uh, the layout you will going to create should be suppo supposed to be created within that boundary right uh, that is what uh, uh, the pr boundary is supposed to say that but uh, because uh, here we are generating from the source so standard layouts will be generated so it is quite difficult to you know uh, to create the layout within that boundary so for that uh, is better not to use but if you use for customization of uh, layouts so customize layouts if you want to create there the pr boundary will be helpful okay or you can select or you need not to fine okay so i'll not going to select this so in the input output pins you just uh, cross verify all the pins are there or not so we have all the pins v bias vdd v in v out as plus well vss i just create label as label so option so i'll give some area height of the font i'm just giving a small fonts so click okay i'll just click okay when you click okay the corresponding uh, pmos and nmos will create when you press shift f shift f is to see the layout okay the shortcut is shift f okay now uh, we have separated we have separate pmos as well as nmos and all the pins are separated right if you observe here Right, it will show how to connect also. Fine. So we have VDD, V bias, V in, V S S as well as V out. Fine. So I'll just take the layouts on this side. Fine. And if you observe the schematic circuit, see the input of PMOS is given to V bias as well as the input of NMOS is given to V in. That means the gate of PMOS and gate of NMOS are separated, separate inputs. Right. That means in the layout, the gate is nothing but the polysilicon it is showing by the green color right this is the polysilicon they are separated right pmos is given to in uh, v bias and uh, nmos is given to v in so for that so i'll just uh, have a sufficient separation between pmos and nmos okay now what i have to do the gate of pmos has to be connected to v bias and the gate of nmos has to be connected to v in right i'll just extend this uh, uh layer that is polysilicon layer so how to extend this you can go to create create shape in that you have to select you can select path right you can select here or the shortcut is p so you can select p also so better to use shortcut right so that uh, it will be faster right so go to select p path from here 
is the polysilicon as they extend to this side right right now again to this I have to connect V bias right so this is my V bias right uh, just take this V bias see it is showing the connection automatically you're supposed to connect to this point right so remember these pins can be moved either in vertical or horizontal direction you cannot move this in uh, diagonal condition okay so this is metal as you already know this is metal and this is polysilicon directly you cannot connect you have to connect wire right so wire contact you have to connect so to create a wire so you have to go to create select wire or shortcut is O right. in this wire definition you have to select M1 PO metal polysilicon contact just hide this and I'll place it here right so before that you have to select this uh, DRD notify so it will show any error is there right so if you observe here see it's showing some minimum area error right that means in this uh, uh, contact uh, metal could be metal or poly has to be extended right to minimum area 0 0.02 micrometer so nanometer fine so what you have to do in order to extend this just select go to edit hierarchy in the hierarchy select flatten so in that set all the patterns all the checklist if I click OK now it has been uh, flattened now we have to extend just click or uh, left click on somewhere else so just extend this so how to extend you have to select stretch stretch or shortcut is yes using stretch see it will highlight like this the corner you want to extend just plus and just one click just extend this some some level so again metal also see minimum area showing 0 0.02 if I extend it will not show so now it means you have enough area right okay so just fit through window so I've extended polysilicon contact right now I have to give the connection V in has to be placed on this right so I've just connected so now V bias connection has been done V S bias connection to gate is done now we have to give the V in so how to give the V in so this is the gate of NMOS either you can take from this side or from this side or even from this side because this side we are going to give the uh, VSS VDD connection so that's why I'm not extending in this side or you can extend here also you can just you can go here and you can give a connection like that also it is possible okay so now I'll take path shortcut is P so just click and extend okay just select here okay so I'll just take this better to larger distance yeah now what have to do again you know to connect V in this is the my V in pin so it has to be connected to here so you know to connect this I need to have a wire contact again I'll place wire contact shortcut is O wire definition M1 PO is already selected hide and place it here fine now I have placed so it was also showing a minimum area so what I do I will go to edit hierarchy just flatten it click OK now I have flattened it I will just have to extend this to extend shortcut is yes or you can select stretch so stretch this side also has to be stretched right now I have stretched it now I have to connect V in to this right so anywhere on the metal you can place right or you can place it on the contact also both are okay so you have to have a contact between metal and contact okay now it's been connected now with respect to input I have done right so this V bias connection and V in pin has been done now we left with 
V out. V out in the sense D drain and drain of P MOS and N MOS has to be connected to V out. Right? So here this is the drain and this is the drain. So these two has to be connected. Right? These two has to be connected. That is to be given to V out. Right? So I'll just take this V out pin. on this side fine so now what I have to do I have to select path P so here it has to be connected to this and anywhere and this has to be connected to V out right so you can just directly place your V out on this metal only that is also okay just but uh, for your understanding I'm just giving here right so that you will have the clarity about how you connect it okay so I'll just for your clarity I'm just extending this or you can directly place this pin on the metal here only okay okay I'll select path connect it to VTT now VTT connection V out connection is done right V out connection I've given now left with VTT and VSS right uh, this is the same as what we did in the previous experiment that is inverter experiment so how to give VTT connection I'll just take VDD here fine and uh, VSS on this side on this side so in order to keep VDD so how to connect VDD to PMOS so via N well I have to connect that means shortcut is O so via definition I have to select N well M1 N well ok just hide and place it here so exactly on this so I have to place the yeah. so it was also showing the minimum area so what I'll do I'll just edit it hierarchy flatten it so I have flattened this also okay now I have to extend this N well because PMO should always be inside the N well, right? So I have to stretch this. I'll select yes. I'll stretch right up to here, on even on the other side also, right? Now I've stretched. Then I have to extend oxide also. I'll extend oxide also. Now it is done. So what I have to do? What is the next step? So this VDD pin contact has to be connected to source of PMOS because drain is already connected source of PMOS has to be connected right how to connect it select path P right from metal you have just connected right so metal is using metal I have connected now VDD has to be connected to this point right so just placed it on the VDD now VDD connection is done now we left with this right VSS connection is has to be given that means uh, the source of VSS has to be connected to VSS right how to give the connection for NMOS via P substrate right so just go to create and select via or shortcut is O so via P M1 P substrate, right? Just hide this, place it on this. Okay. Yes, yeah. I placed it. Now it is also showing the minimum area error. So what I'll do? I'll just edit it hierarchy okay now I just uh, flattened it now we have to extend this pin right so stretch select stretch extend this oxide layer okay sufficiently you have to extend until this error goes off okay now we have left with just fit into window we left with the source to VDSS connection right so I'll select path P from metal to 
VSS connection I have given. Now I left with so this VSS has to be pin has to be connected here, right? So I'll just take the pin and I'll place it on the VSS. Okay. Now we have done with all the connections, right? If you check here, so I have given the VDD connection, VSS connection, V out as well as V bias and V in. Now just save this. Once you save this, uh, once you created uh, the layout successfully, what is the next step? So we have to perform the DRC check, the design rule check, right? So how to do that? To go to Asura. In the Asura, go to select run DRC. Fine. So in the run DRC, so you have to select the technology. So it's already selected GPDK45. If this GPDK45 is not there, so you have to go back. You have to go back in the technology. You have to select the Asura tech clip file. Okay. So once you click OK, just click yes. Okay. So now it is checking for DRC error. So it is just completed. No DRC error found. Fine. We have clearly properly placed all the components and we have used a proper design rules with the minimum separation yes so now once you have successfully checked with the DRC we have to perform LVS so in the Asura go to LVS run LVS so technology is already selected right then click OK existing file click OK it's performing the LVS now LVS is also matched. Schematic layout is matched, right? Just yes. See schematic and layout matched. Right? We have used properly. So once the LVS is done, layout was a schematic. The next step is parasitic extraction. That is, you have to run for QRC. So go to Asura, select run QRC. The QRC. So what all the steps you have to do? See the setup. You have to select RCS works the extracted view output you have to see the extracted view right so make sure this enable cell view check is disabled right in the extraction you have to select extraction type RC cap coupling mode is coupled reference node is ground right then in the filtering so you have to give all the power pins power nets VDD and VSS and the ground nets are G and D right Yes, so in the net listing, make sure all are do not include, right? All the you know, models are selected as do not include. Okay, just click OK. Now QRC is running. So QRC run completed successfully, right? So extraction is done successfully. So now you can view the extracted view. So how to view that? You can go to file, open, right? If you select in the schematic, instead of schematic, just select AV extracted, right? If you select AV extracted, you can see here, right? Just click OK. So AV extracted file is there. If you select Shift F, is the shortcut to view the extracted view, right? You can see the small tiny particles are there, right? On the cell. Okay. So now extracted view is done. So what is the next step? Once we have extracted the parasites. So we have to we have to back annotate this. Then you have to perform the post layout simulation, right? How to do that? Just uh, minimize this. Just close this tab. Just uh, minimize this. Fine. So now we have to back annotate. We have to go to file. Select new. And you have to create new cell wave okay in the new cell wave make sure the cell name that you're going to give is the test circuit name right the test circuit name that you have given for pre layout simulation the same name has to be given here also okay so this is the name I had given in the pre layout simulation so once you select this go to layout here the type you have to select the config to select the config type so open with hierarchy editor right now click ok so click ok here 
you have to select use template in the use template select spectre okay just click ok once you click ok so this is the library this is the cell view cell name that is a common source test in the view select schematic okay so just click ok now under this so instead of common source schematic right so we want to view found a schematic instead of this I want to view the view to use this I want to use AV extracted right so I'll type AV extracted just click OK now update it see the update so it will ask for update yes click OK now you have successfully updated it just save and close now you have successfully back annotated it now what you have to do you have to open the config file right with AV extracted in it so then we have to perform the same pre layout sorry post layout simulation so how to do that you have to go to file open in the open select common sort test in that select config it automatically selected right. click ok so click ok configuration I don't want to view but the cell view I want to view schematic scale view I want to view ok just click ok now the test circuit has been come, come out now in this symbol now we have if you just right click and check descend read you can see the AV extracted file it is successfully updated instead of schematic now I have the AV extracted file just click OK you can see that file ok so I just close this I'll reopen it now for this circuit you have to perform the simulation so now in this circuit now we have only the AV extracted file not the schematic now if you check for that with the effect of parasites so you can see the voltage or what is the power that is consumed fine so how to perform the simulation you just have to go to launch ADEL right analog design environment okay now here you have to set up all the analysis right uh, previously I've already saved that setups I'll just load those I've go to I will go to session so if you when you when you perform the pre layout simulation right when you're closing the simulation window this if you save all this setup what you have done right you now in the post layout simulation you just have to reuse those setup or the analysis fine you can use that right once you, you know uh, the save those setup in the pre layout simulation right most of you people usually will not do that but better once you perform the pre layout simulation just save those setup analysis setups in the before closing so that in the post layout simulation you just invert or import those uh, analysis you just have to perform the analysis only that is enough okay so how to do that you can go to session here I've already saved in the pre layout simulation itself I have saved all the analysis setups I'll just uh, import those setup then I'll perform the simulation so you just go to session load state you can do this in the load state just click OK I'll close this see this is the setup I've already did in the pre layout simulation now I'll just perform the run operation okay click run this is we are doing with pre layout sorry with AV extracted file right I just uh, maximize it I'll uh, separate the windows sub windows right click OK spread this see and then this is the gain right and this is the DC analysis first uh, we shall see this right this is with the AV effect or parasite effect right if you observe so in the previous uh, post layout simulation pre layout simulation right the gain that we have got is 2.44 right I hope you remember that 
right but if you observe here the gain if you observe we are getting 2.37 right that means from 2.44 it is considerably decreased to 2.37 so why because because of the parasitic effect in the layout right due to parasitic or capacitor uh, parasitic components that is resistor and capacitor right if you observe here only right see we have given 5 volt 5 millivolts peak to peak right from sorry 10 millivolts peak to peak right this is my input but if you observe here the difference right so this is 392.4 millivolts minus 369 right so 368 so if you observe that if you calculate the gain we are getting is only 2.37 that means the difference in gain is minus 2.44 minus 2.37 means so around 0 0.05 is of uh, gain is reduced it means the gold uh, the voltage gain is reduced fine that is the effect of parasites so even in simple circuit analog circuits so it is of uh, this much of you know effect is there means so in higher circuits the effect of parasites will be more but so that's why you have to concentrate on your layout say on the layout so while placing so how much you can optimize it you can do that so that you can reduce the power consumption okay so now this is the post layout simulation results i'll just print it to my file inside the test so i'll select this is post layout output post layout output just save this and print okay so now we can see that file I'll just close this minimize so now you can see the file okay so in the test VLSI test one here I have the post layout results right see the gain you're getting is around 2.375 right this is the post layout value so if you check the pre layout again here only we have see here we have is around 2.44 right that means considerably uh, the gain is decreased fine so this is the comparison so once you have compared so if you are getting the expected output you can go for the streaming of uh, this uh, layout or you have to perform the optimization in the layout okay so this is the post layout simulation of the common source amplifier